Okay, number four. The biggest advantage for an owner of working with a construction manager is the CM, the construction manager, brings their own subcontractors. The CM guarantees the pricing. CM can make the construction go faster. The CM brings early pricing information to a design process. So construction managers, kind of a funny idea. What, what's happening here is uh, essentially, uh, the way I always like to think of it is you sort of imagine that the construction manager works directly for the owner. So they're not, it's not a contract that they've signed uh, with a third party. This is somebody who's like an employee of the owner. Now, in actuality, they don't have to be an employee. There's all sorts of different contracts that work in that situation. But I think it's easier to sort of imagine it that way. So imagine that they're working for the owner directly. So uh, they may know a number of subcontractors, but they are not a GC. They are not taking the risk, unless it's specifically it's a small fraction of CMs that take risk. It's a long story. It'll say risk if it, if it means that. Um, but they're not generally taking the risk that a general contractor does. And so what's happening here is a uh, owner looks at a typical uh, uh, sworn statement from a GC and says, okay, here's what the plumber's going to cost, here's what the electrical's going to cost, here's the carpenters, et cetera, et cetera, and it all adds up. And then they add a big percentage for their work. Uh, and they add you know, some other money for you know, kind of keeping the overhead for keeping the project going. So that profit that they're just adding in at the end of that drives the owners crazy because they're like, whoa, why should I be paying this huge amount of profit? Uh, and so what the construction manager does is it says, well, okay, I'm not going to pay anybody else profit. I'm just going to hire a guy and they're going to be the construction manager and they're going to work directly for me. So they'll get paid. Uh, I'm not going to not pay them or anything like that, but they're just going to get paid like a regular person and not get paid this sort of big lump of profit. The obvious disadvantage of that situation is one of the reasons that the contractors do that is because sometimes everything works out just the way they thought and sometimes it doesn't. So if they're you know, putting a bid in for a million dollars for a project and they are able to do it for 900,000, well, awesome, they just made an extra 100 grand. Uh, but if it turns out it actually cost them 1.2 uh, million and their bid was for a million, uh, they just lost 200 grand. So the owners have a tendency to say, oh, that money, I don't wanna let that money go away. I'm gonna do the construction manager uh, and save that money, but it means they're now assuming the risk that the GCs were, assu were assuming. Now they're doing it in a way with a real knowledge base. The whole point of the construction manager is that they bring a lot of knowledge. They understand how to uh, run a project. They understand how to bring subs in. But now the contractor, the subcontractors are signing directly their contracts with the owner, not with a GC, because there is no GC. Uh, so this can be very advantageous for a bunch of reasons and a little dangerous for a bunch of reasons, like any of the different project delivery methods. The big reason that people love construction managers is imagine a typical design bid build. So it's typical general contractor, architect, and owner set of relationships. You design it, the project, you're designing for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months. You go through SD, DD, you're having all these conversations with the owner, you get to CDs, uh, you uh, produce a big set of uh, bid documents. Now, many months later, we're handing these drawings over to some contractors, they're bidding them all out, uh, we get some real numbers back, and that's really the first point that we've had a third party review of whether we're on track with our, with our budget. So if we turns out we're you know, double the cost, we're you know, over by a couple million bucks, well, it's kind of late, right? I mean, we're, you've, you've had all of this work done. Now you have to go back through and redo a bunch of work, and it just takes even more time. So design, bid, build may be perfectly great for certain reasons, but it has a few flaws. And one of the flaws is I don't find out about the cost until deep into the project. So the big advantage of having a CM on board is they're on board early. Uh, they're there to review the schematic drawings and they're giving direct pricing right at that point. And as you're going into DD, they're looking at all the specific things there and they're giving pricing at that point. And then they're giving more pricing as you go through the CD sets. So they're giving early and useful pricing through the whole process, which presumably means that by the time you get to the end, everybody's known the cost all the way through. And that, for the right kind of project, that can be hugely advantageous 
So the answer here is D.